in the Age of Bronze, once power and influence was carved by the sword. We present our candidates for the best military leaders of a time period prior to 1200 BCE. We will go through every power of the Bronze Age era and it will be up to you to decide who was the greatest. Tutmosi the first. Tutmosi the third. Ramses the second. Lugal Zagezi of Uruk Shogi of Ur Gudea of Lagash Sargon the Great Naram Sin Hammurabi of Babylon Puzur in Shushinak of Elam Eridu Pizir of the Guti Shamsi Adad the First Paratarna the First Shaush Tatar Shalmanazar the First To Koltinirunta the First Morsili the first Shupiluliuma the first Muwatali the second Tarhuntaradu of Arzawa Atarsia of Akia
Make sure to let us know in the comments who was the greatest general of the Bronze Age. Let us know if we missed somebody and give us your own top 10 list. I'd like to thank everyone for participating in our Q&A, which we are now going to cover here as well. Cults, from where in Greece are you? Massachusetts. Nick, when can we expect Rome videos? I'd love to do videos on Rome, possibly starting with the Kingdom period, I'm still not sure on the time frame. Bastio, why are you doing videos about Greece in the Bronze Age? Very interesting video by the way. Well, thank you very much. Bronze Age Greece, Menon, Crete, Troy and in general all of Greek history and mythology are my favorite topics, so that's the answer. Although I'm always happy to cover some other related kingdoms and civilizations. Draco, if any, which religion do you follow? I respect each and every religion. Fred Leckie, if you had enough time and budget, what topic would you cover? What is your favorite historical period? In the ideal scenario, I would cover complete mythology of each city-state. I would love to do major topics in great detail such as Greco-Persian Wars, Peloponnesian War, Alexander the Great, complete history of each Hellenistic kingdom. I would cover the non-Greek tribes and probably so many different topics if I had enough time. My favorite historical periods are Mycenaean Greece, Minoan Crete and Classical Greece. Lucas van der Hoven, are you studying at university? If yes, what courses do you take? What got you interested in pre-classical ancient history? I finished university in 2017. I think it would be very difficult for you to guess what my degrees are. I was always interested in Hellenic history in general and it were probably mythology and Trojan War that were really the first things that directed me towards Mycenaean Greece and the uh, Bronze Age in general. Walsh, how do you think Anatolia and the Aegean might have fitted into the Uruk world system? I'm not sure, I don't think that the early Bronze Age Aegean had many direct connections with Sumer. Eventually the influence of the major civilizations of the East did reach Anatolia and the Aegean Sea in many aspects. Guillermo, how about two like mythical people that are at historical battles and how the Bronze Age changed the writing and language as we know it? I think that each language constantly changes and evolves over time. Early Bronze Age roughly corresponds with the earliest writing systems and it has been constant development and evolution from there. Can you post the sources of the music you use in your amazing videos? Thank you, I use a website called Epidemic Sound for the background music in the videos, so big thanks to Epidemic Sound. Zidao, three questions. When will you make the video about the life in the Minoan Crete, probably in the coming year? Will you make videos about the history of Egypt? That's something that we might explore in future. There's no immediate plans right now, but you never know. And the most important, how are you? Excellent, thank you very much. Mitsalis, what got you interested in ancient Greece and the Bronze Age and what would you like to cover in the future? I believe I already answered the first part of the question and as for future content we will be revisiting Troy soon, we will be revisiting Minoan Crete, uh, we will be doing series on Hittite Empire and a lot of other stuff which we are going to announce in the future. I'd like to give a very special shout out to Space Bunny 4335, Luis Aldames, Mercy and Thane, Rithymna, Odysseus, and the real Tomahawk for being the most engaged viewers of TV in 2023. The awards have been announced in the community post, and the winners are free to contact TV at gmail.com to receive them. So, big thank you to you guys and to everybody else for the constant engagement and contributions from really everybody that we had in this past year. I would like to announce the TV exclusive YouTube membership. Much like the Patreon will provide exclusive content and material for our members, including exclusive members only videos, polls, artwork, behind the scenes content and the ability to decide on the future videos. So if you love what we're doing and you want to go an extra mile to give us some additional support, 
YouTube membership is the way to do it. We have already started posting exclusive videos on Patreon and we are going to be doing the same thing for our YouTube members. So we're trying to grow the channel as fast as we can and with your support we'll be able to advance to the next level quicker, release content more often and increase its quality. So everybody's welcome to join. Finally, huge thanks to all Wenex TV subscribers, everyone who likes and comments on our videos. You all are the backbone of this channel and uh, that's really how it goes. The more subscribers we have, the bigger we are. And that's what we're trying to do, to make more videos like we did recently on the complete history of the Philistines. If you haven't seen that video yet, please check it out. It's probably the most difficult project that I've done so far. And we are going to have similar projects soon, some collaborations, a lot of new things. Stay tuned. I wish you all happy holidays and we'll see you again soon.